down the ride, never tired. You will never know. You ain't never tried. All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the Philadelphia Eagles. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. for Christian McCaffrey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll look to throw here. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, Got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They'll run for the first time with the former Bearcat, Mike Boone. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Now after the punt on that play, we've got a man down on the field. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. Three birds, three birds. Mike's 54. What's that? It's a second down run with Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. 
Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. From the 35 on second down, Wentz, blitz coming and down he goes. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. Another takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. I don't care what game it is, everyone's always looking for an early advantage, an early break, and they almost had one there. That should have been an interception. Nice catch. Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. And offensively lucky to have that one back. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this is a guy who is already among an elite group of kickers that have hit from 60-plus in an NFL game, but that's a tough ass to try and get him to produce another one here. You're exactly right. It's an elite group for a reason, isn't it? No small fee for him to hit it from that distance. This one doesn't go through. I always marvel at those guys because it's the same approach every time, the same smoothness when they swing their leg. Doesn't look like they're putting anything extra even when they're kicking it for 60-plus. Second and five. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, that didn't take very long. You mentioned you have to keep him under wraps. Avoid the big play is what you said. And here he makes one in the first quarter. Yeah, you can't let this become a habit. Otherwise, you know what will happen? He'll flat out take over this game. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full step. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Ian Thomas, his first touchdown on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Now this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you've gone somewhere. But you're really out here in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position, the ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. I got you. I got you. 46 down, man. 5-4. From the gun, it's wins. It's caught, Smith. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. 
Pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last Good game morning. to play on a Thursday night? Check, check, guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. From the gun on third down, wins. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 49, and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. They try to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's a second and seven. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield. And oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Look at me. Go, go, shoot. Now a run with McCaffrey. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Switch, switch, switch. Go, 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 go. go. This is McCaffrey. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They'll set up a throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Solid job up front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result, six points. Touchdown. Extra point try, good by Gano, and it's now 14 to nothing. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Mike, 54. Tackles, tackles. 
right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Wentz on the give to Sanders, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Wentz now to throw, and that's caught by Smith. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Working from the gun, Wentz. And that's complete to Sanders. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. To throw again on second down. Wentz eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. A little too much extracurricular there. And you have a game with a lot of contact. Tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 at the 14. Shotgun now for Wentz. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trey Boston. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this is complete to Moore on the comebacker. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now back to throw. Complete to Bryant. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. That's to McCaffrey complete. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They'll set up to throw. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This quarterback now 10 of 10 to start the game. How about that? As he comes up on a first and 10. He'll look to throw. It's caught by Bryant. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And you see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call. You've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second and two. Bryant has it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. 
as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. He'll drop to throw. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Ian Thomas in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Gano the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Sunday, Sunday. The final shot before half for Wins. Carrying it out deep for Smith. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. Come on now, let's go! The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. 94. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. The stop was made by Jannard Avery. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll look to throw. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards to pick up there. Check three, check three, check three. Check, check, lucky, lucky, lucky. Check nipple, nipple team spill. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Check, go. McCaffrey. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They'll run on first down. Walls. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Okay, 
And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Let's go. They'll look to throw here. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Ian Thomas, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And it is 28-0. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Here's Wentz to throw. The open man is Smith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Another run here with Sanders. And an alley to run. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Now wins. He's got Smith here. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. 
Well, you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. You must be, you must be getting tired of seeing me. Back to throw here. Completes it to Samuel. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 15 there. The Panthers have a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. And Thomas has it. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Looking to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Derek Barnett. And there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. On now, Graham Gano. He's hit from 63 as recently as last year. This will be from 56 yards out. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackled for a two-yard loss in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here we go, D, get off the field. Wentz going to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of two. Now third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. On third and long, it's wins. And that's caught by Smith. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. They go play action here on first down. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Gunner. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. Wentz now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Here's Sanders. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the ten. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. It's a lot of credit. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, his second touchdown on the season, and the Eagles get a score closer. And he pushed it right. It's no good. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. 
Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again, some... The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Throwing his wins. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Brian Burns. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And my goodness, another interception. 
picked off at the 39. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done, really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but yeah, I, but, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... Oh, I thought I was the only child. You That's get a game ball, child. and you get a game ball. Game balls for everybody.